and just I'm almost ready Arrgh! and um, well I should have shamed myself sorry I look terrible but um, look if I want to put videos I just have to let to go with it and that's about it so light diffuser on and um, we are ready to go with a big guy and this is the review of um, auto mounter uh, auto cue letter from the nice camera Okay, so let's get started. The topic of this video is going to be a review, actually, of a neat application, which is Auto Mounter. I'm as well running a blog, right? And it's uh, NAS Home. This particular um, blog post about auto mounting uh, NAS shares in the blog become quite popular because you may have noticed that it's not so easy in um, OS X achieve a very efficient way to automatically mount network shares uh, in your system. Now, uh, the Mac is a POSIX system, so it's like a Unix-like system, and you may be familiar eventually with Linux, you have things such as um, AutoFS, uh, which is present as well in the Mac and should allow you to uh, have the operating system automatically managing uh, file shares and when it finds that the, a network share is available, it's automatically mounting it. However, for some reason OS X that it doesn't really work very well, it's not very reliable. So I circumvented that by doing an Apple script. So I created a blog post, how to manage shares in uh, Yos Yosemite. Uh, or oh, Yosemite, sorry, and I actually put down my script. It's fairly simple script. Uh, it's actually checking if the NAS is up, then it's auto connecting, blah, blah, blah. So it's simple enough, but it may be scary if you're not that technical. So um, basically how I discovered Auto Mounter in the comments, which, you know, I received a few comments because many people is interested in this to make it work, right? Um, so I received a comment from, um, Andrew, right, that it's uh, uh, running a company, uh, Pixelize, uh, a New Zealand-based uh, software company, and he's actually say hey, maybe my app can be of use here, um, and is actually advertising Auto Mounter. Now, Auto Mounter is available in the App Store uh, for um, seven euro, right? So actually, um, it may be considered kind of like a little pricey for an application that is just auto mounting shares but it's very very well written and is very polished application so when i received a comment on my blog i actually asked andrew if it was possible to get um, a free download to actually review the application he kindly agreed to that so thank you andrew for that and let's go down and deep into the application that i already actually installed in my system and here it is it's auto mounter so now it's already configured, right? So you see my server is um, up and I have the different shares with AFP. Now let's say, for example, um, let's amount uh, music and you see auto share with automatically mounting it again, right? So it's back there, right? So this is very useful and is working pretty well. Now what you can do as well uh, and what is the main usage of the application. So um, let's let's do something quick. Let's actually quit the application and let's eject all my drives. Okay. And let's actually turn the Wi-Fi off. So now Definitely all the shares will be unmounted. It may take a while for this to happen. I will probably cut this out. Okay, finally, um, OS X realized that there is no Wi-Fi. I can disconnect all my shares. So there are no shares anymore. Now let's open Auto Mounter. And then you will see that Auto Mounter is actually still have my server there but is showing you that it's actually not reachable, right? Now, what happened the moment I actually turn on my Wi-Fi? You see the Wi-Fi is about to connect. We are connected immediately, Automounter 
actually detect that we are now have the uh, share reachable and is automatically mounting our volume. So actually brilliantly, it works very well. What you can do as well, obviously, is to open it, add a login. If you have multiple servers, you can add additional servers. As you can see, it's actually auto discovering uh, the servers in your network, very neat as well. And you can just simply add it with one click. Now, if it's the first time you try to connect to the network, you actually will get the prompt for the username and the password. But once you save it to the um, keychain, that will happen automatically without your intervention. So truly automating a very tedious task that is to always remember yourself to mount um, your shares. Now, um, another option you have as well is to only mount uh, the attempt to mount a drive when you are on a specific Wi-Fi network, right? Which is uh, pretty neat as well. And you can even wait, uh, send a uh, send wake online. I didn't test on that, but um, given the application is very solid, I, I assume it's worked very well as well. So you can actually send a wake, wake online. So that means that even if your server is off, it will try to wake it up uh, through the network, even though that may depend on the type of server you're running and the type of network you have. But it's a very neat, um functionality and very welcome there then when you have a server uh, configured you can add multiple shares you have three different type of shares available smb fb and nfs so quite a good a good um choice now the thing that i'm not really fan of is um what you can do with the share you can actually hide the share what is doing is something weird is actually removing it from the desktop is removing it from the finder although it's still actually mounted, it's just hidden. Um, I'm not really sure I particularly like this functionality. I don't really fully understood it, but you know, if you just don't use it, you know, it's not going to create an issue. So is the application uh, worth the seven euro? I'd say absolutely yes. And um, it's a good alternative uh, to my script, right? If you want to, you know, I will put the link of this post um, in the YouTube video, if you want, you know, to experiment with the Apple script and, you know, get a, uh, an idea how the script works. But if this is getting too complicated for you or too hard for maintaining, actually the application auto mounter is quite a good solution. However, there's just um, some little thing that you may need to be aware of when using auto mounter. Now, um, I don't think it's a shortcoming of the developer. It's just the way in which OSX work, right? Where uh, you need to develop application in a sandbox. So what is happening with this is that Auto Mounter, when it's mounting an actual volume, is not mounting it in the volumes folder, right? So um, if we go into, into the terminal, I'm going to show you uh, what I mean. So if we go in terminal, normally, uh, all your drives are actually um, saved, are actually mounted, sorry, in volume. So you see I have here an external uh, hard drive, which is PIX and um, is actually mounted in volumes, but my network shares are not there. Now to show you that I'm not lying, um, I have this share mounted with uh, auto mounter, right? Now let's see what happened if I actually mount um, a share through the finder, right? And I'm going to mount uh, this. Okay, so I mounted the share. And now if I check the content of volume, you see that the actual share is mounted in volumes, right? Now where auto mounter actually mount is a volume, for example, my pictures volume, you see is actually mounting it in the user, right? And in a container that is belonging to the application. Now, this is, um, is because of the sandboxing, right? Uh, I believe it's a limitation that the developer cannot get around it. Now with the Apple script, you don't have this limitation. You can mount the share into volumes. Um, should not be a huge deal. However, I just want you to show you this just to make clear what can be, you know, something you just need to be aware of. It's fixable, right? It's just, just a, a, a little annoying thing, right? So if I move, for example, over Lightroom, right? I have Lightroom attempting to recover my picture from the master folder, right? That is actually located, you see, into volumes, pictures, right? Volumes, as you can see, is the default path where share should be. And um, 
Lightroom is not able to find it. Now, this is because I added this folder when I was mounting myself through the finder with the Apple script, um, the share. So that's why it was in volumes. Now, you can easily fix that if you're in this same, same situation where you, inst you install Auto Mounter and then, you know, your application that, where they were referencing to the share are getting lost a little bit. So if, for example, I can um, actually find the missing folder, and so what I'm going to do is says, look, it's actually on my computer and it's actually in picture and it's master, right? So pictures, master, there you go. I choose the folder. By doing so, it's actually able now to find my picture, right? All the pictures are there. Now, the only weird things that you see, for example, in Lightroom is that it's not mounting, um, the, it's not seeing the resources as an external hard drive. It's actually seeing it as a normal um, folder into your file system. Now, I don't think it's going to create any real issue with Lightroom, right? I think it's working just fine. I didn't really uh, fully test that yet. However, just be aware that the application auto mounter more likely for the limitation of the sandboxing of OS X is not going to be able to mount your share in volumes, right? I should be expected. They're not going to be into volumes, but they're going to get mounted uh, into this uh, quite complicated um, mount. However, that's something that is going more, um, more a little bit in detail, right? Um, you will have your shares available on the desktop. So if you, if you don't have any particular reason why your share must be into volumes, I said the auto mounter is, uh, perfectly a uh, good application. Um, but just be aware of this uh, little thing about where the volumes are actually mounted. For example, I'm also using CrashPlan um, to manage my backups. And I believe that if I'm going to see now that um, even CrashPlan won't be able to find uh, those shares. Let's see, it's interesting to see. I didn't check that uh, beforehand. So I'm opening CrashPlan. It's just a you know a way to uh, automate backup. Um, let me authenticate. Here you see I have my shares and uh, let's see. Okay, the, that one is this is the one that I mounted in the Finder Dorian and is able to find it. If I go in Downloads, for example, you see it's not able to find it. So I would probably have to add again manually, right? Um, but you see, the thing is, for example, now in this case with uh, CrashPlan is not seeing the actual volumes. So I will need to go um, to see in the terminal where they are stored. So I will have to go through that exit path. Um, library containers, auto mounter, data. And then here I have the actual links to the volume. Although I'm not even sure CrashPlan will be really able, looks like he's not able to actually back it up. Um, so as you can see, there may be some limitation depending on the applications you use. Um, anyway, I'm going to move CrashPlan from my machine and actually move it into the NAS. Uh, I'm planning to install a, a free NAS server, so more to come on that. But um, all in all, it's a great application. Uh, it's um, it's uh, very easy to, to use, very easy to set up, uh, very easy to add the shares, to add server. Um, it's working very well with the auto discovery. So this is what you will see when you open it for the first time. And then you can just go ahead, click on the server, uh, click on use, and it will put all the information there for you. Uh, you save that, you add the share very easy to use um, and I'm using it at the moment and uh, I think I would have happy I would have been happy to spend seven euro on this application just be aware of this little limitation on where the shares are getting mounted if you have a very specific use scenario it may be a limitation for you and you may have to revert back to the Apple script that I've designed and that is available for you to just uh, use uh, as you please. So I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, I think it's a uh, um, good thing to know how to automatically mount shares. And um, I'm going to commit to try to upload more video on my channel and um, try not to have this long pause uh, between one video and the other. But uh, if you want to see more of these, uh, just subscribe to the channel or be sure that you check it out from time to time. Give a look to my blog. If you find anything useful there, feel free to leave a comment and let me know um, if, you, if there is anything useful to you. 
Thank you everyone and see you next time.